Hey y'all, if you chose pal number one, this is going to be a reading on November 2022. Predictions, okay, we're going to jump right on into this reading and we're going to see how is the month going to be for you. Uh, make these messages as clear as possible. How is the month of November going to be for pal number one? How is the month of November going to be for pal number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How is the month of November going to be for pal number one? Give me one card. That was the month of November, okay? This is two. So we have, child, I don't know how to say this, her name, but it says Lady Something, which says acceptance and equality. We also have here Skull of Darkness, which says Blind Spot, spot the Blind Spots. So I feel like the month of November is, um, I feel like there's gonna be things coming out of left field, things that you don't see coming, and, um, Maybe I'm also seeing, because I don't know why this candle's kind of reminding me of like a tower. Maybe um, in the month of November, there's going to be a lot of unexpected things happening, popping up. They could be good, bad. And it's just like, you know, unexpectedly, but it's going to be, it's like, it's going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? It says um, acceptance and equality. I just feel like you're going to be fine. You know, at the end of the day, whatever it may be, you're going to be fine. I feel like you're going to keep a very calm mindset. But the equality, you know, I feel like it's like, when it pops up, you're going to care, but you're not going to care that much. I feel like you're going to have a very unbalanced mindset in the month of November. Okay? So let's see what we have. Make these messages as clear as possible. How is the month of November going to be for pound and born? How was the month of November going to be for pound and born? Make these messages as clear as possible. How was the month of November going to be for pound number one? What can pound number one expect? How was the month of November going to be for pound number one? What can pound number one expect for November 2021? Make these messages as clear as possible. What can pound number one expect for November 2021? What can pound number one expect for 2021? Make these messages as clear as possible. What can pound number one expect for November? 2021 we also have the king of swords at the bottom of the deck interesting with the page of pentacles okay so throwing out some zodiac signs we have aquarius um we have sagittarius leo aries we do have aquarius leo gemini um sagittarius leo aries i said that already yeah okay so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Basically, all signs. Yeah, basically all signs. No Earth signs for real. Okay? But um, with the Ace of Wands being here, I feel like in the month of November, I feel like maybe... I don't know why. I feel like because the, the skull right here has a flame. So, it's like you're getting your, your spark back. I feel like you, you're, you're, you're shining in the month of November. Like, you're getting your spark back. I don't know. Like, something, like, you you getting more sexier. Or you just, like, maybe you you taking more time for how you look. Um, you know, getting your hair done, your nails done. Like, pampering yourself a little bit more often. Um, maybe some of you could even be starting a new job or something like that. Maybe you even, um, I don't know why I'm hearing um, Stella's new groove or something like that. I feel like you, I don't know, you getting your sexy back. I'm also feeling like you may have met someone new. That's making you feel like making you feel really good in the month of November. Okay? Sparks flying kind of situation. Even with the Knight of Cups, I'm getting that maybe some of you are getting a love message, a love offer from somebody. Okay. Um, this person is even though that they offering you a cup of love, this person is gonna be extremely guarded. I'm getting. This person is gonna be very sweet, very lovable. This person could be a water sign, it doesn't have to be, or this person could be a fire sign or an air sign. Okay. With the Knight of Wands, it's still, it's still giving, like, you know, Stella's getting her groove. Like, you getting your groove back. Like, I feel like you finding, um, you're sexy again. You finding a way to make yourself feel, I don't know, more attractive, if that makes any sense. With the Magician card being here, I feel like in the month of November, I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that you are manifesting. I feel like, um, you are realizing that you can take 
back control. I feel like you know that you can create your own reality in the month of November. I feel like, I don't know, that's like going to be some type of awakening, some type of realization. With the world card being here, I feel like maybe some of you are traveling. Maybe some of you are distancing yourself from people. Um, I feel like in the month of November... Maybe you're gonna go, you're gonna go on a trip or something. Maybe you could even be meeting somebody on like a, a like a date and app or something. When I see the world card, it's um the world card. So they say it's like the ending of like on again off again kind of relationships and stuff like that but i feel like what i'm looking at is like you're mending a relationship. Maybe someone that you were doing this back and forth thing with you finally like this person could be making you a solid offer or it could be like mending a relationship some of you could be mending a, a relationship or you could be distancing yourself to focus on your your mental state okay with the eight of no with the um queen of swords being here like i said prior to like i don't know you keep putting yourself on a higher pedestal in the month of november i feel like you're definitely going to be more vocal and you're going to say what's on your mind i feel like it's like you're going to be more cutthroat definitely more cutthroat um, with the eight of um eight of cups being an overall energy, I feel like you're walking away from a lot of things. I feel like right now you, I, I think you're just focusing on yourself and what makes you fulfilled and make what makes you feel good. Right now you're just like enjoying enjoying the journey. In the month of November, like I feel like you're just gonna be chilling, relaxing, calming down, like you know. With the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you leaving behind being like... I feel like the King of Swords is definitely more mean. This person is a little bit more, you know, trying to go by the rules and stuff. I feel like you you taking a risk in the month of November. You're taking a risk. You're doing something a little risque. Something that's out of the ordinary for you. Something that's out of the ordinary for you. Let's get some more information about the month of November. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What should pound number one expect for the month of November? 2022. What's your power number one expect expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What's your power number one expect for the month of November of 2022? What's your power number one expect for the month of November? Whoop. What's your power? What's your power number one expect expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What's your pound number one expect for the month of November of 2022? Bottom of the deck, we have simplicity. This is beautiful. Okay, in the month of November, we have diligence, trans uh, transformations. We also have happiness. I just feel like you're going to be seeing things for what they really are, playing um, close attention to things that's going on around you. Um, maybe, in, I just feel like you're enjoying the small things in life, I feel. Transformations, I feel like... <clears throat> You stepping into, like I said, you getting your groove back, you getting your sexy back, making you, I just, you feel, what? I feel like you're making yourself more attractive. Some of you could be dating again, getting back out there, or you just looking good for yourself. You don't have to be doing it for nobody else. I feel like you're finding your happiness in this month of November. I feel like this is going to be a really good month for you. I feel like you're getting your head on um, straight in the month of November, okay? Make these messages as clear as possible. How is the month of November going to be for my beautiful pal number ones? Okay, so we got two cards. It says, number 53, use your hands. Number 49, spend time with friends. Yeah. I feel like maybe it's time for you to get um, active with um, number 53, use your hands. It's time for you to get active. Like, if you have something visually that you have in your head, it's time for you to put your hands on it. You know, put your best foot forward in that situation. Also, it's time for you to spend more time with your friends, hang out, even if, like, not even going out to the club or anything like that, just having friends over, chilling, relaxing. But, yeah, my beautiful pound number ones, that's all I have. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hello, my beautiful pound number twos. Today's reading is going to be um, no November 2022 prediction. So, we're going to hop right on into this reading. We're going to see what you're going to, what you should expect for the month of November of 2022, okay? Oop. Sorry, make these messages as clear as possible. What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible. What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? I want one card. What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? All right, so we have um, at the bottom of the deck, it says Jack or Lantern protection. Okay, so you guys can see it. Um... What came out for you guys is werewolf. 
it says exploring um wildness i feel like in this month of november of 2022 um it's kind of similar to pile number one i feel like you're transforming i feel like you becoming your true self okay um i'm hearing you know the song of the freaks come out at night i feel like um the freak in you is about to be out 24 7 i'm not saying like you know the freaky deaky you but the real you the person that probably listens to paramore on a regular base or the person that sits there and you you like watching cricket or something like that you know you have these little guilty pleasures or things that you don't want people to specifically know about you i feel like in the month of november of 2022 i just feel like you're stepping into your truth okay something is being revealed revealed in the uh, month of november of 2022 um i just maybe it's like i said it could be you finding yourself or you um showing people who you truly are okay some of you could be also if you are in the lgbtq community some of you could be coming out in the month of november or you've been planning it maybe you want to come out um for thanksgiving or something like that some of you could also be bringing out you know a girlfriend like this something that you're going to be re revealing or you're planning to reveal in the month of november of 2022 okay let's see make these messages as clear as possible universe. or something could be getting revealed to you Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. How will the month of November of 2022 be for pile number two? What should they expect for the month of November of 2022? Okay, one card at a time, please. What should pile number two expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pile number two expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pile number two expect? Sorry. What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What should the month of November? What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? I just want one card at a time. What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible. The bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords here. So we have um, Taurus, Taurus, Libra energy, Aquarius energy, Virgo energy, some fire energy here. So, with the hangman, hangman is Pisces energy. I feel like um, in the month of November of 2022, I feel like you're going to be looking at things from a different perspective. That's what this card is, having a, uh, some type of realization, um, awakening or something like that. Just, you know, shifting your mindset. Maybe there's something that is happening in the month of November that is making you feel like, hmm, um, thinking, look at it differently or view it in a different type of mindset. Okay, because maybe you have a better understanding of it. Maybe I feel like there's going to be a lesson that's going to be taught to you in the month of November of 2022. And that's why you're looking at things from a different perspective. Um, with the Six of Wands being here, I feel like you're going to be getting praise for something. This is also about like celebrations. Maybe you're going to be celebrating something. Um, some of you, your birthdays could be um, in the month of November. Happy birthday. Happy almost birthday. Um, I feel like... Uh, some of you could be getting a raise or maybe you are getting like a bonus or something like that. You're getting recognized for something. Okay, um, a lot of people are going to be praising you. This is why maybe a celebration, your birthday or something like that's coming up or maybe you're getting like a raise or a, um, a step up or somebody, somebody could be, I don't know, graduating or something like that um, in the month of November 2022. What else am I getting? I'm getting a lot with the six of wands. Okay. I feel like a lot of good things is happening, okay? A lot of things is popping up in the month of November. But we also have the Five of Swords here. I feel like there's going to be people that's going to be trying to come back into your life, maybe trying to talk to you, be cool with you, be cordial with you. And I feel like you're going to just, like, um, play them like how they played you, okay? Um, I am seeing here that, yeah, somebody's seeing it, like, or feeling like there's some type of unfinished business, like they want to talk to you about something. And you're just going to be like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, I feel like you have control. Whatever the situation may be, you have control of the situation. Some of you, there could be some type of um, legal matter that's popping up for you. So watch out for that. Um, and if it is, I, I would say, I was going to say, I feel like it's going to go in your favor. But it depends on what it is for a lot of you. Take that as it resonates. Um, with the Empress card being here, some of you could be getting married. Some of you could also be finding out that you're pregnant. Um... For my men out there, some you could be finding, or my men, women, whatever the case is, some you could be finding your soulmate, okay, your divine feminine. 
Some of you could be um, finding that special someone, a special friend. Maybe some of you are even um, something. Something have to do with your mother. Some of you could be meeting your mom. Like if you never met your biological mother, I feel like some of you could be meeting your bi- biological mother. Also, I'm feeling like some of you, your mother's within good health. I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody. Your mother's in within good health. Like she's she's doing very well. <laughs> she's doing very well. Something this has something to do with some of you, your moms. Some, some of you, like I said, some of you. I'm not feeling like like pregnancy, but I'm definitely getting motherly energy. Okay, so some of you could be becoming a mother or something like that. Something could be going on with your mom. Um, but I feel like, like I said, your mom is in within good health. I don't know who that's for, but that's for someone. With the seven of wands being here, I do see in the month of November of 2022, you are setting firmer boundaries. Um, hmm. And I feel like this is something that, you know, I've, I really feel like you're one of those people that you, I, not where your heart, you're like an open book, okay? Like, you're not scared to tell people your business. You don't mind telling people your business. You don't mind telling people, like, you know, TMI stuff. But I feel like now it's like certain things, some people could be using things against you. So in this month of November, you're trying to um, learn how to just, like, keep things to yourself, you know, um just have um like healthier and stronger boundaries i'm seeing okay with the six of swords being here some of you could be i don't want to say depressed but i feel like some of you are definitely um in a sense of like i, I don't want to say like learning to like learning yourself or you know putting yourself first loving yourself a little bit more distancing yourself from certain things specific specific things um hmm I feel like with the Six of Swords, also with the, this depiction, you're focusing on what's important to you or the people that is important to you. Like, you're not, you could be one of those people that usually, like, isolate yourself because that's why we have the Hermit card. I feel like you're one of those people that likes to isolate themselves most of the time and just, like, you know, really soul search and focus on you. But I feel like this time around is a little bit different. I feel like you're trying to show people that you really care and you really love them. So you, it's like, you distancing yourself, but you're distancing yourself to a certain extent. Like, you're still answering your phone, answering text messages and stuff like that. Usually you wouldn't even do that. Okay, I feel like I don't know what this is with the eight of swords right here. I feel like you feel like you trapped in a situation, but I feel like you're going to be getting to the realization like you don't have to be in that, that situation. I feel like you are um, divinely protected, um, spiritually guided or. Yeah, spiritually guided. Let's see what else we have. Please make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What's happening? Ooh. What else is happening in the month of. November for my beautiful pound number two is what your pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022. Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. What your pound number two expect? Okay, embracing potential. What your pound number two expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible. Okay, pleasure. We have adventures at the bottom of the deck, okay? So we have embracing potential pleasure. So it's like, in the month of November of 2022, I feel like you're going to be embracing the things that's coming towards you. Because I feel like a lot of things that's, like, unexpected. Things that you're just like, hmm, what the fuck? I feel like you're going to be embracing it in the month of November. You know, things that you probably said, I would never do this, I would never do that. But it's just like, it just so happened to happen. Or it fell in your lap and you're just like, fuck it, I got to do it. Right? I feel like in this month of November of 2022, I feel like people are going to be noticing and realizing the potential that you really do have have to be very successful you know to really like blow up depending on what you're doing if you're doing anything with like social media or you know going to school or work or something like that people are going to be realizing your worth um also in the month of november of 2022 pleasure i feel like you're gonna be doing a lot of things oh that's another thing too with this empress card maybe you're, you're stepping into your divine feminine energy you know um stepping into your um submissive role you know not being so being a boss but you know not being bitchy all the time okay i feel like you you're taking things a, a different way a different light all right i feel like I, I don't know why i'm hearing you're not mixing business with pleasure you're not mixing bu business with pleasures i feel like in this month of november of 2022 you're doing everything to make sure that you are happy you're in a cool state of mind but let's see what else we have before i wrap up you guys reading what does pound number two need to hear right now what does pound number two need to hear right now make these messages as clear as possible universe Okay, in the month of November of 2022, some of you can be meal prepping with um, number 32, make a meal. You can be meal prepping a little bit more, trying to eat a little bit more healthier, um, eating more foods at home than ordering out. Um, also, with this number 17, create art, maybe doing things more hands-on. Same thing with like making more um, making meals, doing hands-on things, learning, maybe picking up a new skill. Maybe some of you could even be picking up, learning how to um, 
draw or something like that but yeah my beautiful pile number two that's all i have i hope that it resonated if it did let me know in the comment section i will catch you guys in the next read peace out Last but not least, we have my beautiful pile number two. Today's reading is going to be November 2022 um, predictions, <laughs> right? So we're going to see what you can expect for the month of November of 2022. My beautiful pile number three is make these messages as clear as possible, universe. <sighs> what can pile number three expect for the month of November of 2022? What can pile number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible. Give me one card. For pile number three for the month of November of 2022. Okay. Bottom of the deck before I flip this card is Black Cat, which says fortune and opportunity. Okay. Hmm. Some of you, with that being at the bottom of the, de of the deck, that's a beautiful card. But with that being at the bottom of the deck, some of you could be getting maybe a, a check, an unexpected check in the mail or something like that. Um... Fortune meets opportunity. Some of you could be getting a raise or getting a job that has a good pension or something like that. Okay? So, um, the card that came out for you guys is joy. It says rejoicing in the present. Okay? So, all right. Um, we got the four leaves. So, all these cards, all these pals, honestly, was about transformation. So, I just feel like, you know... It's still, this is the same thing, you know, transformations, things changing for you, okay? You focusing more on the present than focusing on the past or in the future as well, you know? Um, and I feel like embracing changes, embracing things ending, okay? Out with the old, in with the new. But let's see what we have the, with the tarot cards. Make these messages as clear as possible. Make these messages as clear as possible. We gotta do that again. One more shuffle. <sighs> Make these messages as clear as possible. <laughs> Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What does pound number three need to hear right now? What is, um, what can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? What can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? What can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Okay, nine of wands. What can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? What can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? What can pound number three expect? Oh, eight of wands. A lot of fire energy here. What can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Make these messages as clear as possible. What can pound number three? What can pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. So we got Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, heavy on the Aries energy. Um, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in here. Um, energy here, also heavy on the Taurus with the Herfine. Um, So, in this month of November of 2022, I feel like with the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're going to be living in your head a lot. So you're going to be having like a lot of boundaries. Like, you're not going to want people around you. I don't know what this is. Um, I feel like there's something that you're healing from or suffering from. There's something traumatic that may... Um, that may be stuck in your head that could be happening to you in the month of November. Um, I don't want to say that, but some of you could get into, uh, I'm not going to say that, but just be careful. Pay attention while you're on the roads. Okay. Um, pay attention to everything that's happening around you. Pay attention to the pedestrians, pay attention to all that stuff. Right. Um, and then uh, with the nine of wands, I'm also getting here. Like, I don't know why I'm like, I don't want to say that. But anyway, with the Eight of Wands being here, I feel like communication is going to be coming in. Somebody could be want to talk to you or a lot of things are going to be coming in fast. Um, and I feel like that's another reason why with the Nine of Wands, you're going to be having your guard up and having boundaries and health, like healthy boundaries. It's not, I don't even think it's really healthy boundaries. I feel like you've been played or used a lot and it's just like certain things you don't want people to know about you or you don't want people to know in general. Um, but I do feel like a lot of communication is coming in. Like things are going to be happening really fast and it's just going to be like left, right, left, right. Um, in my head... I'm, you see, I'm hearing good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. So it's like a back and forth for some shit in the month of November of 2022, right? Um, but I just feel like I, I see you being 
with this emperor and the tarot font being here, um, some of you could be finding your divine masculine or some of you could be, um, you know, realizing who your, demi your divine uh, masculine is or you could be stepping into your divine masculine energy, right? Stepping into your boss, um, your boss energy and taking over shit. Um, but I feel like in this month of November, I'm seeing stability, a lot of stability, maybe even making a lot of money. With the Page of Pentacles being here, you could be starting a new job or something like that, okay? With the Knight of Cups being here, I feel like it's month of November of 2022. I feel like you're um, working on your love. I feel like you're someone that is, you're very loving and very giving and stuff like that, but you still, sometimes you can be very cold. But I feel like in this month of November, I feel like you're going to be trying to change that. I feel like you're going to be trying to change that, okay? I feel like with the Six of Pentacles being an overall energy, and I feel like this is not anything new. Um, I feel like you're giving what is being given to you. And it's like people are still going to be begging you for stuff, and I feel like, I don't know. Um, because you got it, you're going to give it. And because you like, because with the Six of Pentacles, they have the guys giving out money, and he's also holding it like the scale. I feel like you're just going to be holding your shit together. You holding your shit together and being able to... Um, probably make a lot of money or um have enough money to give out or you being good with your funds people are going to be asking you for shit um for shit a lot but I, I i do see that you're only going to be given what is you're going to be given what is vice versa you understand like you're going to be given what the person is giving to you and i feel like you're not going to be given to anyone that would not give to you I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting with the Knight of Cups, like a bruised ego. There's something, there's something that you holding on to in the month of November. And I feel like you're going to be finally, like, releasing it a little bit. With the Three of Wands, okay. Something that you've been waiting for manifesting, I feel like it's coming into fruition. And I feel like it's coming in very quickly. All right? We have the Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to have success. Whatever you've been waiting for, looking for, I feel like you're going to have success in it. Um, let's get some more cards, all right? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. What is the month of November? What should pile number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Also, with the Page of Pentacles being here, I don't know why. It's, like, studious. Some of you are going to get accepted to, like, I don't a program, but the program is going to be a paid program, and you're going to get accepted to it. Mm-hmm. Now, this could be like a voucher. This could be student loans. Like, you're about to get um approved for something. Okay? Get ready for that, um, like, that, that like the, um, communication. With the Eight of Wands to the Page of Pentacles, you're about to get accepted to something. Okay? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What should pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pound number two, sorry, what should pound number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Gateway. Um, we have focus. So in this month of November, we have forgiveness, um, fulfillment, and gateway. So I feel like you're going to be forgiving people that um, they may have, they may have, uh, well, they, they may have never said sorry. They may not have forgiven you. Like, I just feel like you're in a state of forgiveness, letting shit go. In this month of November of 2022, I feel like you're working towards your fulfillment. I feel like you walked away from something anyway to go towards your fulfillment. And I don't feel like you're finally, like, reaching it. Like, I feel like you've worked on yourself so much with this Nine of Wands being here. It's like you worked on yourself so much. You have set these boundaries. And now it's like, it's time for you to get to, you know, your Nine of Cups. Your fulfillment. Your wishes and dreams coming true. And with this gateway being here... I just feel like you opening doors that you never thought or expected would be open for you. Things are coming in quicker than you you know it. And I feel like it's like it's going to be very unexpected and very shocking and very like, what the fuck? Wow, I didn't expect that. Make these messages as clear as possible. What does pile number three need to hear? What does pile number three need to, to expect for the month of November of 2022? What should pile number three expect in the month of November of 2022? What should pile number three expect for the month of November of 2022? Okay, so we have um, number 47, um, sound healing, and then we also have number 20, it says dream journal. Um, maybe I feel like if you have any dreams that you remember v very vividly, you should write them down in your dream journal. I also feel like um, some of you may need to, or you could benefit from listening to, um, you can listen to he um, healing sounds like the little, you know, I don't know what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. Also, you could um, listen to subliminals. That also helps calm and relax the mind as well. But 
Yeah. I f- also feel him with the divine masculine. You know, divine masculine, I feel like divine masculine is mean. He may not be mean all the time, but he is mean, you know? So I feel like you need to probably, like, work on your anger. Work on trying to be so controlling and, like, you know, relax a little bit. But, yeah, my beautiful pal, number threes. That's all I have for you. I hope that it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, babies.